Did you know the Galaxy S24 Ultra and many other Galaxy phones have a special app that lets you customize almost everything about your device? I'm Lexi, welcome to your weekly dose of all things mobile. Make sure to subscribe for lots more. Let's go, good luck. First, go to the Galaxy App Store and find an app called Goodlock. This is actually made by Samsung. It's a legitimate app and it's gonna give you so many ways to make your phone truly your own. Now, once you open the app, you'll see all of these modules listed out and you can download each one individually depending on what you wanna do. Let's run through a few of my favorites. Get creative with Wonderland to make moving wallpapers that shift around when you tilt your phone. There are a few presets here that you can experiment with or create your own. I'm gonna show you this summer option just to see what you can do, then we'll make our own using a photo. On the right hand side, you can see all of the layers currently on your wallpaper. You can tap them to adjust things like the transparency and even individual motion effects. Maybe you wanna make these people travel up and down when you move your phone. So select those and preview the effect. And don't stop there, you can add your own images, text, video, and stickers to truly personalize your wallpaper. When you're done, tap the arrow to go back, then set as wallpaper. I love how it responds when you tilt your phone. But let's do one better and use one of our own photos. So on the S24 Ultra, I really like the AI generated wallpapers, but they are static images. Now, unfortunately, there is no official way to save these AI generated wallpapers. So you will need to download an APK called Wallpaper Export so you can get the full resolution image. Now proceed at your own risk by installing any external apps, but for me, it's worked great so far. So now I've got my cool AI generated image. Now I'm back in Wonderland. I'll tap new, select the gallery, and then choose my image. I'm gonna add a motion effect so it moves when I tilt the phone. And now I wanna add an animation. So tap the gallery plus icon, then choose particle preset. Select the snow icon or anything else that you want. Adjust these settings for color and duration, and then tap preview. I'm liking this vibe, so let's make sure to save it with the icon in the top right, then set as wallpaper. Wallpaper set, now let's work on our lock screen. Find lock star and make sure that toggle is turned on. Then you can tap on the screen. Here you'll be able to adjust all these different options from the position and the style of the clock to your media playback controls, even where your notifications appear on the screen. Or maybe you don't like these icons and you'd prefer a bigger notification bar to see what you've missed. And you can change the icons on the bottom of the screen. So instead of those default phone and camera quick launches, a whole list of shortcuts can show up. Tap on the plus icons to add in your favorites and then change the alignment. This is so helpful if you wanna to get to things quickly. Navstar gives you so much control over phone navigation, whether you prefer the Android button look or you're all in with swipe gestures. Turn the toggle on, then you'll be prompted to change to a button navigation type if you're not already. Then you can choose the icon set that you like best or even add your own. But I'm team swipe, so I'm gonna switch back, then find some options to tweak. I like the back gesture in full screen, so I can quickly switch out of a full screen video without needing to reorient my phone. And you can change the arrow color and the background of your back gesture to make it stand out. If you have a phone with the S Pen, go into Pentastic and see what else you can make this do. Scroll across the list and you'll see options to change what happens when you pull the S Pen out of the phone and start an air command, like making all these options appear like a fan with the retro selection. You can change the pointer to be a big arrow, a heart, a sticker. I love to set the double tap action though to open an app like YouTube. Simply hold the button down and then double tap on the screen and voila, your favorite app is launched. Some Galaxy phones like the S24 Ultra are big beasts. So you can use one-handed operation to customize the actions so your screen edge is way more functional when you're using the phone with just one hand. Now using this app will override the gesture controls that you might have already set up in the navigation settings that we just went through, so do be aware of that. But you can really dive in deep to customize these actions on the left side, right side, or both if you want. For me, I'm a right-hander, so I'm gonna customize the right side so a straight left swipe will act as my back key, the diagonal up will go to my app switcher or the recents, and the diagonal down will be home. 
Okay, I know Bixby doesn't get much love compared to the other assistants out there, but Bixby Routines is actually really useful. Now in the Life Up tab in Good Luck, find Routines Plus and you'll have lots of options here. But the one I like the most is the low battery announcement and it can make your phone yell at you if your phone gets to a certain battery threshold. Charge your phone dummy. The other apps that I use in this Life Up section are Sound Assistant, which gives me this great looking volume panel and lots of additional controls for my sound. I also have another full video diving deep into hidden tips and tricks on the S24 Ultra, so make sure to go check that out right up here. Thanks so much for watching, and if you already knew all these, you get a gold star, and may your phone be blessed with extra battery life. See ya!